Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Journey to the UK. So today you and I, and when I say you and I, meaning myself, Chicanos, my staff, and yourself and everyone that's watching and everyone that's subscribed, etc. are going to be making a very big decision. And that decision is which car we're taking to the UK. Which car are we taking to compete at this year's Gravity Show hosted by Slam UK? Now guys, so far, it's been a tough decision. I've thrown a spanner in the works. Uh, um, spanner in the works in the sense that I've added another car to our collection. And uh, that car is possibly a strong contender for the uh, UK. <laughs> a strong container for the UK, provided I put some uh, uh, flavor, a Chicago flavor or chip flavor on the car. So as voted by you guys, and uh, uh, I, I'm totally, I, mean, I, I, I honestly can say I'm not surprised at the cars you guys chose. So in first or in no particular order, the, the top four cars that you guys chose for us to go and take to the UK is the 635, Celeb GP, the Bahnfine 325 IS, and, the, and of course the E9 BMW. So let's discuss each option and uh, uh, hopefully that will help us make a decision on which car we are going to be taking. So the first option is the bag 635. Um, a lot of you guys say that the car is uh, uh, on an international level. Uh, it is a car that I am leaning towards taking. Um, so far on the car, it's got a very sick custom interior. It's got a proper set of original work split wheels. Uh, air ride kit is sorted. Hard lines is sorted. The only thing that we would potentially need to do on the car is tidy up the paint job and also tidy up the engine bay and add some flavor on the engine bay. Um, majority of the cars or, or, or this particular car I don't mind taking but I want to show you guys the level of 635s that are out there in the UK. Check this out. South Africa on the map and also to showcase our talent and our capabilities and to go have fun, network. Also for me personally, it's a bucket list thing to take a car to a show like one of the guys I idolize which is Kazuki from uh, Madlani. Uh, that prize is insane. As you guys know, he goes all over the world with his bag Ferrari. So that's a level that I want to get to and this is a stepping stone in that direction. So um, the car has got to make an impact, it's got to show our capabilities and, and it would be nice if it came somewhere in the show, although just going, being a part of the event is more than enough, but ultimately we need, need to also understand that we're representing South Africa. So the bag 635 again needs a paint job and it will need some tidying up on the engine bay. And here and there neatening touches, which is not a lot of work on the car. So that's the first option, right? Then the second option is my queen. Uh, video is dropping soon. We're going to be having a full feature video on Celeb. So you guys can understand what Celeb means to me and why Celeb is called Celeb. So that's the next episode that's dropping. That's going to be a one hour episode. So you guys must please tune into that episode because I'm looking forward to getting your feedback and you guys also understanding the history of myself and Celeb. So I'm basically sharing my feed with you guys. Uh, so I'm excited for that episode. But uh, Celeb is potentially a good contender to take to the UK. 
purely because it is the most famous E30 in Africa. In fact, people overseas know the car quite well. It's a car that has been in 32 music videos, two Netflix series. Um, it's also been in two adverts, uh, two commercials. It's also been on the Nike uh, uh, stores advert. It's done the Weber clothing advert. So it's done. In fact, Celeb is just Celeb. Celeb is a Celeb like the name says it is. But that car will require some TLC. So for example, um, I want to do a wire tuck on the engine bay. Believe it or not, I've owned the car for about between 10 to 12 years. I've never done the engine bay. The engine bay is still the original factory color. But when Celeb goes to a show, we don't open the engine bay. So I need to do engine bay. I need to tidy up the engine itself. I want to tidy up the interior here and there. I need to do a paint job uh, because the car has got some metal scars on it. I would also like to redo the suspension. So it's technically almost a full build, but it's not as intense because the base is there. So Celeb is a contender and I would also need to do the roof as well. So Celeb's actually got a lot of work. And we technically only have about two, two, two and a half months to get the car done. Uh, and you know that I cannot stop customers' work to finish one of my own cars. So that's a stress on my head. What do you guys say? How do I... Is two and a half months enough to finish Celeb? Is Celeb the right car to take? Um, do I need to change anything on Celeb? Um, it's... I don't know guys, I'm like so confused. You guys can help me, please. I'm relying on you guys for this because I can't make a decision. I need you guys to help me make a decision. So 635 Celeb, Celeb needs a lot of work. Then we got the barn fine 325 IS, but before we get there, this is the level of cars that, of e that normally comes to the shop. Barn find E30 325 IS, which could also be a good contender because it's purely a South African model, and I believe the car would make an impact. The car also needs a full build in two and a half months' time. Uh, the reason why I'm saying two and a half months is because I'm going to be traveling from next week, I'll be out of the country, 
So uh, you guys won't see me for a while. However, we have to be recording episodes for you guys so that you guys get your weekly fix. Uh, so however, the, the, the amount of episodes will drop until I'm back. So we'll be dropping one episode from next week uh, per week. And then when I'm back, we'll be going back to our two episode routine. So sorry about that, guys. It's just there wasn't enough time and it's a last minute trip. Um, so we are looking forward to my trip. By the way, I'm going to Palestine. I'm going to spend the last 10 days of the fasting month in Masjid al Aqsa. It's something that I've done in 2018 and I've been yearning to do it. Uh, so I'm looking forward to it. Very nice spiritual journey. So I'll pray for you guys. I'll keep you guys in my prayers. Um, so yeah. Back to the band, fine 55 IS. Two and a half months to restore an IS completely. Can do it, but it's going to take a lot out of us. But more so, the thing that's stopping me from taking the band, fine 55 IS. Once again, this is the caliber of cars. I ain't got no money. I ain't got no car to take you on a date. I can't even buy your flowers. Together we can be the perfect soulmates Talk to me girl So the Barn Find IS can be a contender. Again, it's a car that a lot of people will, will love to see. But we're going for a stand show. So we can't go with the static IS to a stand show. So we gotta bag the car. So should I bag the IS? Should I not bag the IS? If I do bag the IS, it's gonna affect the value. And you guys know I wanna try and keep the car very close to original, but add a little bit of my flavor. But bagging it is definitely a no-no. Unless we bag it and we unbag it when we come back to South Africa, I don't know what to do, guys. Can you see? I'm so confused. I really need your help here. So number three is the Barn Find IS. Then we have the Ford Surprise, which you guys went crazy for. Thank you for all the love on that video. Um, thank you also for suggesting that we should go to Chris. Uh, we're definitely going to be doing up a follow-up video in future on Chris's collection and also some of the cars he has for sale. But let's talk about the E9, unicorn of a car. It's got a lot of history, but and it's very original. But I'll tell you, if we are to take the car to the UK, we need to peg it. We definitely need to change the interior because the grey interior, I'm not feeling it, it doesn't look nice. We need to put a six set of wheels. I need to, the car was painted in its life, so I don't think I will do a full respray. I'll probably tidy up the chrome here and there. I'll do a paint correction or I'll get the car uh, treated to a paint correction. However, I need to paint the engine bay and I need to tidy up the engine. So that car is a strong contender, especially because there is zero bad E9s in South Africa or Africa. So we will be going with something that is purely unique to our country. It's not unique to Europe because these are some of the bad E9s there.
how you can see why I want to pay me nine guys. Look at those freaking cars, they say these cars are insane when they drag. And if you notice something as well, it's got that front scoop, so we definitely will have to get the front scoop. Um, why I'm why I'm contemplating the key nine? A lot of you guys are saying that I must keep the car original. I like original in certain cars, but I feel like it takes away from who I am because most of my cars are not original, they are with custom and they have my own personality on it and that's what makes my car special and if you have your own style, that's what makes your car special and also if you're running a stock OEM car, it's what makes that car special so each to their own um, I'm thinking the E9 because the E9's been to Germany, it's been to Netherlands it's in South Africa and adding a UK trip and getting a gravity sticker and sticking it on the wheel, window, left hand side window where all the other stickers of the car's journey could also tell the story or add more to the story of the car. So I don't know if you guys agree with that and my train of thought. And also it's a big E9 guys, left and right from South Africa. It's like, if I'm not mistaken, a lot of the overseas folks still think that there's lions and zebras roaming in the streets. Now we're rocking up to a gravity show with a big E9 full service history. So we want to add a UK stamp from the, to the, onto the car itself to add to the other stamps on the car's journey. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think that is an option? Trust me, if you, you've seen how the big E9s look, trust me, I'm going to make it just as special. I got an idea in my mind it's going to make the car killer and it's definitely going to be a talking point. So I need you guys to vote on this video and I need you guys to vote on my Instagram. I'm going to put a post up on my Instagram as well. Uh, so let's vote on which car we are going to be taking. Number one, we have Gamla GP, the bag 635. Number two, we have Celeb GP. Number three, we have the Banfine IS. Number four, we have the E9. E9 also has less work than all the other cars. Uh, so the 635 and the E9 has the least amount of work. So what do you guys say? Please comment below. Option one, option two, option three, option four. And let's make our decision by next week. And uh, hopefully you guys can help me make this decision. I'm looking forward to the trip. Once again, thank you so much to the Oaks of Slam UK for allowing us the opportunity to join you guys. I'm looking forward to seeing all the guys from the UK and Europe, those guys, those cars are idolized. I'm looking forward to meeting you guys. Thank you so much for the hospitality. And before I go, I want to wish you guys a happy Easter. You guys must please travel safe on the roads. Don't drink and drive. Be considerate on the roads. Please come back. We want to see you guys again. And we want to interact with you guys again. Uh, so please be safe this weekend. And also, uh, uh, I, I will see you guys soon. Remember, I am traveling. I am going to keep everyone in my prayers. And again, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for interacting. You guys are awesome and thank you so much for helping us grow this channel and the positivity. Also in the areas of improvement. And once again, thank you to these following champions. You guys are awesome, we love your interactions. Don't forget to get everyone you know to subscribe. We beat the magical 5000. We're busy with an awesome hamper and some giveaways, which we will be announcing soon. And don't forget the celeb video is dropping next week. Please, we're going to have an hour video on the history of celeb. So I want you guys to check that out. I would like that video to be our most viewed video. 
so please get everyone to watch it cool so i appreciate you guys and i'll see you guys when i come back but in the meantime enjoy the cinematics and be safe out there i'll see you guys soon